Number uh, number seventeen. One and seven. Jerry, you're being too loud. Shut I have up. that one. I have seven. I have one and seven. That's seventeen. Well done. Uh, well done, Patrick. Yes. They need to be able to hear the numbers. Jerry, they'll hear us upstairs. Just sit further away from them. No, I'm saying we're not meant to be down here. They'll hear us if we shout the numbers too loud. Well, you were complaining two minutes ago about the balls rustling too loudly. I'm just I'm just worried. What they do, they come down here and they find us playing bingo. What are they going to do? They kicked us out of there. I don't know. How much further can they kick us down? Exactly. There's no more floors. We're in the basement. Just worried. Three and five. Thirty-five. Oh, I, I had three and I thought you were going to stop. No, I kept going. So you did did. I. That's tricky with this bingo. Can you do it with a bit more flair? I'm here for the pageantry. I don't need to win at this. Functional bingo's the best kind of bingo. We'll get more games done that way. That's not how Jimothy used to perform it. He had so much pizzazz. He died with the courage of a thousand street performers. And now he's in the ground. So let's just get on. Do you want a wee bit of flair? Yeah. How about this? Bring it on. Hey, don't give us a second. Let me, let me. Right. Quiet though. Quiet flare. Quiet flare. Under understated flare. That's right. Yeah. All right. Let me try. Don't go too big with it. Yeah. A natural charisma. Right. A quiet elegance. Hold on. Here we go. Right. Ninety. Oh, that felt like you could have been like the prince of a Eastern European country in the twelfth century. I love the way you said it, but these go up to eighty-five. Oh, sorry. Six. Thank you. That's. I love the pageantry of it, but do read the numbers correctly. There's only so much I, I, I'm willing to put up with. I'm going to rat you inside. Oh, come on now. And then where will you be? Somewhere else. Yeah. You don't want that. No. No, we don't. We're the only four left. We can't go out like that. We can't go out betraying and backstabbing again. This game's gone on for too long. How long have we been playing this? I know there's only four of us, but you three have the cards. I haven't got many of the numbers. I've got so many of the numbers, but no lines or anything. It's, I mean, statistically unlikely. Honestly, I've been so worried I haven't been marking the numbers down. Classy. 90! Again, you, you read the same one. I put it you read in. the same one, and you read it incorrectly. That's the same ball. I think I have stamped 42 like five times. Are you putting them back? I'm sure I'll lose them. They'll roll off the table. It looks very full, to be fair. Yeah. What if we all just think of numbers, and we agree on the number, and then we'll mark it off if 90. it's 90! No. It's too many. It's the first high. number that came to my head. Sorry. What do we, how do we feel about four? Six. Four is not bad. We had four and six. How about five? That's a good compromise. I could do 12. Oh, God. I'll go as far as nine. I still think 12 is the I right think way you to go here. I think you get him up to at least 10. Come on, throw some in for him. I'm not going to sway. My opinion is as valid as anyone in this group, and I say 12 is the way to go. He who holds the balls holds the powers. Well, we're not even using them now. Well, how, about, how about we all just pick our own numbers then? Bingo! Right. Oh, well done. Bingo, bingo, bingo! They're down here. Let's get them. No. They'll never take me alive. Stop kicking us. Welcome back to Dumbraco. <laughs> My head. Oh, I have no idea what happened last night. I just. Oh. I'd say they threw you in about 2 a.m., something mm. like that. Yeah, they threw us in about that time. You're one crazy bastard. Oh, why did I go out drinking with you? Well, I didn't. You Not met at the bar. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. We drank all those shots. See, it's crazy that you've only just met last night, but you've got this kind of bomb. chemistry between you that I just can see seeping into yeah. the atmosphere. You know what I mean? 
Even when you were asleep and you were just staring at him, watching. Yeah, it's, it's like... You staring at me? It's like your eyes were open the whole time. Making sure you're okay. My yeah. buddy, buddy for life he after was, last night. He was watching us too. We, he thought we were maybe a little shifty, but... Yeah, no, we're just a couple of folk that have been in here a, a bit. About two days now. About two days? Uh, two days. Yeah, that's, that's not a rest. It's not so just like an overnight cell? Oh, it is, yeah. But yeah. they said we're going to let us out, and then we punched the guy. Yeah. Uh, to be clear, the guy I punched was him, and then he punched me. We did have a bit of a fight, but now we're. Yeah. I think we're now we're good. We're but good I think now. it was sort of like on an unspoken level. We were like, "Do you want to stay another night?" Yeah, I'm quite comfy. I like it. it There's is. only one toilet in here. That's why I like it. That's true. You n- you never have to worry about. Is the door locked? Is yeah. it now locked? It's is someone there. gonna knock yeah. while I'm half? You know, and it's, it's right no, there. Yeah. There's no toilet seat either, so with it, mm. no problem. You gotta yeah. squat. See, yeah, I hate true. sitting on a toilet seat that is wobbly and yeah. oops, well, when I can uh, just like I need to. Sh- Sometimes I'm almost falling into the bowl. Yeah, I get that scared moment. Oh, but to be honest, I'm just sick of lifting it up and down. So. <clears throat> It solves that problem. It's one it. last thing you to think it. about, I guess. What bar did you two meet at? Oh, the uh, O'Hara's? Well, we went to a few. No, to it be was clear, a lot are, you, of bars. are you friends from before, or did you literally just meet? Oh, no, we, we met, we last met night. but we, oh. we talked a good bit, Basketball. and then. and then That's not all we did. What did we do? Hmm. Did I not just get. I might have just tossed in here before. I, they did just, take a hell of a yeah. lot of drugs off both of you as yeah. you came in. Oh, God. Oh. He made a lot of money before they got us. Nice. What? Oh, I heard they were talking outside. The The officers were talking about some sort of big drug Biggest bus. Biggest bus they've ever had in years, I heard. Yeah, you were driving. Can't you remember? You're a legend. This is, yeah. this is one night. I went out at I went out at 9 p.m. I met you at half 10, and we got arrested at 2 it's already in the papers. Already in the papers. They work fast. Oh, that do you remember the speedboat? And bracken bracket. No. The helicopter chase? No. They had ordered a SWAT team, but it never <laughs> and arrived. They never even showed up. Couldn't believe it. What Couldn't the, believe it. They got you, though. What the hell? We almost what got away heck? with it, too. I'm surprised they put you in this prison. Yeah. To be honest, I don't believe that they had a helicopter. I think they were just playing on speakers, like the sound of a helicopter to to scare I've you. I've heard them doing that. They yeah. do that quite often. But it works. It, it works. It, it did work. It scared me. I went for a runner, and I'm not so quick. If you're going for a runner, make sure you use the toilet. Yeah. Oh, that kind of runner. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I misunderstood. So, we're doing a drug run? Yeah, they're calling you Drug Mule Denny in the papers. Yeah, oh what's God. your name? Paul or something? Yes. Yeah, Paul. Oh! <laughs> Quick oh. guess. Yeah, well, he is in his underwear than it says in the back. It yeah. says in the back. I sewed it in last night. Thanks. You sewed his name into his underwear? I wanted to make sure that he got off on the right foot behind the bars. Thanks, I remember Frankel. the first time I went to prison, and it was really awkward having to introduce myself to everybody. But I quickly found out that if you sew your name into your clothes, then everybody finds out and you don't have to do those introductions yourself. I like that. That's quite sweet. For Rankle. Rankle. I like that. Rankle. Do you got your name sewed on your underwear? No. I I have my daughter's name on my shoulder here behind me. Oh. See, I thought that was your name. No, no, no. That's her. Jeremiah. That's her. Right. And your name? name. Mm, Lovely lovely girl. Lovely. Hope to see her in... Like a day or so. Yeah, I mean, unless well, you know. we might have another fight. Yeah. We don't know yet. Oh, you go. <laughs> I do like it here. Hey guys, thanks for coming along. So I worked really hard on this and got the blueprints and already. So this is what we're looking at for the bank, of course. Unfortunately, I did. I accidentally shred the blueprints, but luckily Susie, my daughter, has a photographic memory, so she has recreated it. Uh, how, how old Susie? She's seven. Seven, yeah. So she's recreated it, so it's a little bit off, but, like, all the main points are there. She's put in all the main points for our heist, so... Okay, so uh, I'm, I'm just... I see one of the rooms just has a sun in it? Yes, okay, so that's interesting, because that's a sun... So she always likes to put her son in, but uh, thankfully this is actually the vault. So the son is like representative of a vault. Right. Okay. Not the dollar symbols. No, no. That's just where the cash is, but we're not really worried about the small cash we want in the vault. 
gotcha. I, I, I thought maybe I know she's only seven but I thought that was maybe going to be a pun on like a sunroom which no. you obviously don't need in a bank no so. no this is the vault from her recollection of it's it also a security issue if there's glazed roof because that's true you can mission impossible can in inside there. Yeah, yeah so that's what yeah. they were thinking Down. we we do 100 percent. just to be clear now we do not want a mission impossible type scenario to happen no well she i don't know if this was artistic license that she took i do not remember the lasers being present in the blueprints but she has put them in there, there definitely are two cameras in that room but i don't know about the lasers now i don't want to call your daughter a liar but uh -huh. did they show her where the safe was? Uh, no, well, this is just her recollection from the blueprints. Okay, That right. she did see okay. with me. That I, I managed to get from the city records. Worked really hard and then accidentally shredded them when I was filing my taxes. So, Is, is this why we need to do the bank robbery? It's part, part of part why of we would need to do the bank robbery. And you've all thankfully agreed. Uh, you all, I guess, do know each other. Uh, it's hard to get in such a small town. People who don't, it would have been, I would have preferred, obviously. But you all know why you're here. You know what you bring to the team. What do you think of this, Damien? So are we actually robbing the bank? Because I thought we were... This is a risk assessment. I helping thought. the bank, like black hat hackers, were figuring out what the, the risks best are. Way we this, this seems very much like what we're doing here is an actual bank robbery. It does feel like it, but... And we've been there before. Oh, you know, no, I cannot expressly. It is an actual. It, we're, we are robbing them. Yeah. Is it, though? That's what I want to throw back at you. Well, I was hoping it would and be. And might I add, is it really? I mean, I say we just we plan it and then we see how we feel about it. We, no, none yeah. of us need no. to commit to it right now. We could just, if we've got a good plan, we might go, yeah, yeah. let's do it. Dunbracken coming at you live. It's Dunbracken 105.7. I'm here with the head postmistress of Dunbracken, uh, someone you you all love very much, uh, Sally Hutchinson. Uh, Sally, it's so good to have you. Thanks for coming. Oh, indeed. Now it's excellent that you've invited me on today. It's a real honor to have you. You know, you've been uh, a big part of Dunbracken for... Oh, I have now. I would say now about 50 years now. 50 years? Honestly, 50 years? Sally, oh, you no, don't look a day years. over 30. I'll tell you that. Ah, uh, no, no. Roger, you're a sweetheart. You know very well <laughs> that I know your mother very well. It's true. It's true. I'll, I will uh, fully admit to the listeners there is a bit of a family history here, but uh, you oh, know. Indeed, there is. I went to school with Roger's mother. We had a great time and great japes we did behind the toilets. Please feel free to tell the listeners, you know. Oh, and... no, that would be terrible. Oh. <laughs> and oh. we don't like secrets here, do we, Roger? Um, no, no, I mean, yeah, we, yeah, we don't, we, we, we can, we can say them, but we, yeah, we, we don't have to, we don't have to, we don't have to. Sweep them up under the cabin. That's where they stay. Yeah, I know. Isn't that right, Roger? Yeah, I know, yeah. We don't tell them about you deep, dark secrets. Do we, Roger? No. Do we? I think we're going off topic here. Um. Uh. S Sally. Uh. What's the What's the normal uh, day in the life of a of a of a post uh, a head postmistress? You know. No, I get the post and then I open it up and I read it. Oh, can we cut that? Oh, uh, can we? Oh, now I've gone a little bit. Oh, I've gone all forgetful. No, let me start again. A normal day starts with a nice cup of tea. A nice cup of Barry's tea. Nice and strong. And then I deliver the post unopened. Sally, I think I'm going to have to interrupt you here. Um, I would not be doing my duty as a journalist or as a radio presenter if I didn't call back to what you said previous, uh, which is that you just admitted on air to the listeners that you opened the mail of the citizens of Dunbracken. Ah, no. Roger, remember what I said about the carpet all that is swept underneath it. And Dunbracken is a great place to live. Don't you agree, Roger? And we don't want to be banished. Banished from the lovely town, do we, Roger, now? So, we'll edit that bit out, won't we, Roger? And this bit now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was out of line. Thank you. Gary, um, ask me some lovely questions now. Um, oh, look! I'm looking out the window and there's a lovely young man there. Oh, isn't that great? 
this town is is great. Yeah. Um, uh, y your husband, Sally. Uh, would you care to uh, talk about him? My dear, dear, dear Bernard. He was a great man. He was the chief post master. 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 I find it very hard to say sometimes. Oh, it's okay. Because he died in that terrible, terrible death. Terrible death. That's. That's. That's a mystery too, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Towns. Towns full of mysteries. Uh, but he was. He was a. He was a great. He was a great person, you know. When Indeed, the, the he town was. I mean, he he he, he 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 built. He built. He built half the town. I mean, before he was a postmaster, he was a builder, and before he was a builder, he was. Um, bricklayer and before he was a bricklayer then he was a farmer and he did everything in this town an illustrious career you could say it's a pity other people couldn't have been so upright and upstanding roger isn't that right i i think this interview is probably over now um we're gonna we're gonna edit this bit out um and uh, i'm gonna cut to the ending here where i thank you for coming and we're gonna let's call it about okay so, uh, uh, thank you so much for for coming on the on the show. This has been it's been an absolute pleasure. It's always a pleasure, Roger, being in your company, and I can't wait until I have a piece of your very special lemon cake that you're so great <laughs> at making. Of course, <laughs> of course. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, this has been uh, Dumb Bracken One Hundred Five Point Seven. Thanks for checking in. No, you have got secrets, and I am not willing to keep them going. Sally, we we can't do this on air. We can't do this on I know, but I can't help it. As soon as you mention, and then and then the carpet, and all of the dust. Oh, the dust, the debris of that carpet. Fuck, I'm still recording. Hopefully the lasers weren't actually there, and then it will be no Mission Impossible shenanigans. They do have one security guard. She added the little hat. I thought that was a nice touch. Yeah, it's it's lovely. Um, I hurt my back on the harness last time. I yeah. Really, no more, I can't, no more mention impossible. I can't be going back down from the ceiling. If there's lasers, then what else are we to do? It's fine. We'll work. We'll we'll cut our losses. We'll take the small money. I think. Oh no, you give up very quickly there. Well, they don't want to do. If we, we could cut the power. How does that sound? Okay, yeah, that's good. That's we could good. cut the power, or you know what? Maybe it's just a case of you know we get in one of those like trolleys that mechanic what... uses. And we just sort of push ourselves underneath the I laser. I could not get out of her. What in that bottom corner that was? That must be the fuse box down there. Okay, I just thought it was a window. Uh oh, maybe it is. I mean, if it's a window, that'd be great. We could go in. We could go in, but it's a window right beside the fire escape, which is could also one of us. Prop the fire escape open. I guess. Yeah, we could go in. Is uh, it armed? Oh, that would be great to know. I bet you the original blueprints would have said so. Probably. I think we can assume that it is. I think that's the best assumption to make, and then yeah. we'll plan around that, and then if, if on day turns out it isn't, well, then we can change our plan. What do you think of this? Is Susie in on this? Yeah, is she getting a cut? Good question. She, oh, of course, yeah. No, she will. She has to get a cut. Whoa. Well, she actually, she pressed me. I well, was she's, gonna, it's coming out of your share. Yeah. Yeah. She's not going to be happy about that, guys. She's your daughter. We did not bring her into this. And I, I need all the money. All the money in my share. And let me tell you this. If you bring her in, we'll put her out. All right, fine. It comes out of mine. We've done it before. Okay. It comes out of my share. You just... guys each get 25, as we agreed, and I get 25, and I'll split that with Susie. Is it only for 25 quid? No, no, no. That's a percentage. That's a fraction. Apologies. Oh, right. Well, it depends if what's in the vault. If we end up with If the small money the there, dollars. I noticed that it is dollar signs. I mean, the exchange rate is not great. Is it only going to be dollars? It's only dollars because we're planning it on a Friday, and that's when they do their exchange. I, mean, also, I, think, the, I think the pounds week, we would actually be better off stealing dollars. Do you think? I think so, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good, yeah. Right. I just, I don't want to do this, and then turns out, oh, well, we'll have to go to the Bureau de Change, and then that's we a whole other thing. another 12% yeah. on it. I'm not allowed back in there. No, you're not. No. I'd also say I see on the diagram it's wheelchair accessible, and that will come in handy for me. That actually is not wheelchair accessible. That is actually for the toilets. She just thinks uh, that the sign is the toilet. Uh, it does limit what I can contribute. Yeah, is there a ramp? Can we all get in? Uh no. I'd say well, this this bank deserves to be robbed. Then I mean, that's, that's what I think.
You used to seem pretty cozy. Do you know each other at all? No, we met we met in here. Two days ago, yeah. Two days ago. We did get picked up, I suppose, in the same place. Yeah. It was a bar fight, and, well, mm. I started grabbing all the crisps while it was going on, stuffing them into my pockets. Yeah, and I was grabbing all the bottles of uh, whiskey on yeah. the side while it was all happening. And I saw he had the cheese and onion packet, and I was like, that'll go great with my whiskey. He saw my it whiskey. It was the whiskey, and I was like, hey, that'll go great with my cheese and onion. Yeah. So you well, we had a fight. You had fought over it. Yeah. 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 Oh, look, we've realized since that, yeah. of course. It was a bit extreme. If we had of talks, we could have shared. Look how much, look how well yeah. we're getting on now. Now we have an unspoken bond. Yeah, yeah, you seem to know each other pretty well. Yeah. Like. Yeah, I mean, we did also arrive at the party together, but that was well, that was on the same oh, bus. Sorry. Yeah, but we, we didn't have... actually know each other. Yeah. It was just coincidentally also the same bus. Yeah, but we've been talking... Yeah. On the bus. Yeah. I think just since then, though, you seem pretty pretty tight. Oh, yeah. Once you fight a man three times over two days, you you grow with a tight bond. You either kill him or he's now your best friend. Yeah, it's... Uh, and we're both still here. Yeah, you seem to know a lot of details about each other. Well, he just found out about my daughter. Yeah, I didn't, didn't know that. The first time she came up in 48 hours. I actually have my grandma's name uh, tattooed on my calf. Really? Yep. Billy Bob. Billy Bob. Whoa. It's beautiful. Yeah, she's uh, she's a great woman. I think you'd really. I think you should meet her someday. Yeah, I'm gonna find her. <laughs> She'd take me. I know it. Yes, yeah, she would. There's good. There's a good yeah. spirit in your family. She would. She would. Frank, Frank, I'm okay. I know I'm in my underwear, but I'm not that cold. It's it's all right. You don't need to hug me. Hey, he's just giving you a big brotherly yeah. hug. It's, it's a good bit of warmth. What yeah, cellmates do? It's what yeah. cellmates do. Me and uh, yeah. Me and, been so, doing it the me whole and him time. have been doing it the whole time. There's no boundaries in here or anything, no. Apart from the cage around it's us, there's no boundaries yeah. inside the cage. Sorry, are you uncomfortable? Would you like us to strip down into our We're happy to do it. Happy to do I'm, it. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with, I'm I'm, fine with I'm that. I'm going honest. to take my top off right now. Oh, Frank. Oh. Wow, Frank, are you two nipple piercings? I'm surprised that one of them's bleeding. Yeah. It was itchy. Oh. Oh. That's painful. Yeah, that looks quite sore, actually. That looks, yeah. I'm surprised it's, they didn't patch you up. It's hmm. infected. I, I just got them done the, the day before. Oh. The day before last night. Yesterday. So, I mean, if you were planning some kind of heist of some kind, doing a piercing job the day before seems like poor planning. Yeah, I'm you just... are clearly the most interesting character here, and we have not gotten <laughs> your story yet. No, no, I'm a normal person. You had uh, I, so I many you. drugs on you. Yeah, I, I you mean, had planned so many different I, things. I gotta be honest, like uh, this is my first time like being in prison or whatever, and I thought I was just doing drug disorderly. So what? They don't break out the uh, fake helicopter sounds for just they, nobody. They, they do not. They no. do not. <laughs> we are going away for a long. Well, you're gonna be away for a long time. I'm just living my life on the edge at the minute. What do you mean I'm gonna getting be away my nipples pierced time. and going on a drug hunt? Is there any way that we can, like, there's a lot of cameras there. Just think, is there any way that we can just avoid cameras, taking out cameras? No, I know I know. we said no to a Mission Impossible scenario, but I've got some realistic latex masks. That's pretty good. That's very, they very, are very Mission warm. Impossible. We're, we're even veering into minority report here. A little bit, a little bit. We're in the cruise zone, and we want to stay away from that. The cruise zone never ends well for us. I mean, if, if it was a minority report situation, we would be... Stopped right now. Like that's true. Yeah, presuming we'll go through with it. Yeah, I mean, it could be a case that we look at it in here and go, "When mustn't go well." Yeah, and one thing I do want to check with you. So I still don't. Do either of you have a car at the minute that we oh, could? Oh, I, I can be the getaway driver. Okay, well that's good because yeah. I, I, if it's not wheelchair accessible, I can't help. Yeah, the no, that's actual true. Robbery. And then I guess putting you in and out of the van is going to eat into a lot of our. Oh, I can do it real quick. I've been practicing. You're down to what? Three minutes? Three minutes flat. Wow, that's really impressive. But he gets to park right by the door. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we yeah. can. I mean, I will. I can't display my blue badge still because that will give it away. Who I am. That's true. Yeah, it has your name on it. Yeah. Okay. So we take the chance that you do we park on it and take the chance, or do we park in the general parking or just across the street? I guess and hope that. I mean, no... I feel like we haven't even figured out how to do any of the rest of the heights. Uh, I can just park around the corner. You guys text me and I'll pull up. Okay, yeah, that works. That works. Okay, step one done. Step one. That's step brilliant. Step two. We mission impossible. You're back a hold out. I'm back in the game, baby. Oh, oh. Damn it. Oh. One 
more heist, and then you're out of the Mission Impossible game, I swear to God. No, you, if there doesn't end up being lasers, are you going to be annoyed? I'll be furious! I knew it. Now, I haven't actually seen Mission Impossible. Do we need to be worried about a double cross? Happens pretty regularly, but oh. not every time. So we've about, well, there's eight of those films. Double cross happens in three of them. Oh, those are good odds. Yeah, the odds aren't bad. So I have to go and make a phone call. Okay. Don't move. No, that's grand, yeah. Oh, no worries. So when he's making the phone call, uh, I think I might have to bring Susie along. It's my day to look after her. I think she's the only one who can really make heads or tails of this map. That's true. Yeah, we need... Like, we still haven't figured out if there's a fuse box or a window. We need the original author, don't we? Yeah. There's also an elevator. I'm not sure where that would lead to. Mm. It, yeah, I thought it was only one floor. No, that's an elevator? I, I thought that was the... I thought that was the front door. Okay, that makes more sense. There's an elevator, actually. Okay. So well, I mean, it doesn't make... It's one floor. It doesn't make That's sense. true. <laughs> it's true. It's an elevator to nowhere with a camera in it. It shows it doesn't appear to be any doors in the room with the elevator in it. No, that's true. Yeah, because she distinctly did put some doors in this diagram, but there's no way of getting... I guess we're, we're hoping the fire exit doesn't isn't alarmed. Okay, step two, in through the fire exit. Lovely. And then we mission impossible. They're in here. Get them. <laughs> My chair. Tell me, is that a fresh tattoo on your leg there as well? Yes. When did you get that? Where did I get that? When? Infected. Oh, I got that yesterday. It was a tattoo and piercing parlor. Also heavily infected. If you get out of this, uh, I would probably go back to them and complain. I'm not planning on being around for very long. Fair enough, Frankel. Uh, what, do you, no, what do you mean by that? Oh, well, I've been given a terrible diagnosis, and so I'm living my life on the edge. This explains quite a bit. I, I am 90 years yeah. old, so I wasn't expecting to live very long anyway. Frank, Frank well, you did not look a, a day over 70, Honestly, I'll be honest. I, uh, what can I say? I'm, I'm spring. But honestly, if it is a bad diagnosis, it doesn't look like that yet. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? But with this infection on my nipple... <laughs> Do you see yourself dying via your infections, or would you like to go out in a different way? Oh, well, I wanted to go out in a blade of glory. One blade of what, glory. Just one blade to the throat? One blade of glory to the throat. Jeez. I, that's what my plan was, but they took my samurai sword before I could start chopping at the police whenever they were taking me in that way. I'm afraid, why, am, why am I going away? Oh, you were just at the bar, and you were good fun. Your collateral damage. I guess you were driving around a sociopath. No, I didn't. Well, it was nice, though. It was good, good, good for drinking. It was. I'm still here for now. I mean, I'm uh, I'm just offering mine and my buds here services. So if you want to die by um, our hands, you know, we we'd be happy suffer. to yeah, we could. give you a good old rough em up type deal. If Look, he gets in the middle of one of our fights, he will, he will cease to be. Instantly pass out and what die. What do you say, boys? Why don't you start having a little argument there and... Walk off this oh, you're gonna, mortal plane. Okay, for you, Frankel. For you, we're gonna do that. We're gonna have an argument, and it, we're gonna we're gonna fight so good that that's gonna kill you. It was lovely meeting you, Paul. Yeah, it was nice to meet you, Franklin. Take, take care of those pants. Hey, well, Billy Bob's dumb, and so are you. I detest that you said that. And I also think your tattoo is poorly made, and your daughter has a stupid, disgusting name. She did the tattoo? How dare you? She was six, spelled half of it wrong. Well, she needs to go to fucking school. Do you want to take this outside, but can, so we'll take it inside I right now? I would very much like to take it inside. Oh, you've asked for it oh, now, Oh, I'm friends. gonna get you. Quickly, Paul, <laughs> throw me into the <laughs> middle of them. <laughs> oh, oh, no, oh, there's an old man right oh, over no. My oh. swinging fists. Uh, fireballs. Oh, no. Uh, oh, no. He has connected oh, with God. his... Ah, I thought this would be quick. Oh my god. Punch the infection. My nipple. Punch the infection. My nipple. It's stuck. I'm pulling it. I'm pulling it. Get the gods. I thought I would be out of here soon. 
I'm I'm putting my knee on his neck and it's not doing anything. Should we have waited until there were guards here? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, because now we're just fighting for nothing. Ah, now we're fighting for nothing. Stop. We're not even going to get another oh, day. Oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus. Don't stop. <laughs> Sorry. I'm in a lot of pain. That's okay. Kill me. I know. I, Franco, I don't think it was any point in us going Franco, we're not gonna. we're not going to kill you if there's yeah. no guards here. Are you here. stopping now? Well, he looks like he's in a lot of pain. Yeah. <laughs> Back to Dunbracken is created, produced, and edited by Conleth McVeigh. For more information on the podcast, including the weekly town newsletter, you can follow us at Dunbracken Pod on Instagram. This episode featured Patrick Meyer, Marcus Keeley, Deirdre Linsky, Kieran Sands, Owen Fox, Eddie Goodwin, and Aaron Marshall. The opening and closing music was created by Connor Mallon, and you can check out his entire album, Unearthed, on Spotify now. Thank you for listening. We look forward to welcoming you back to Dumbracken very soon. <laughs>